Today we're going to solve a beautiful geometry problem. We are given three rectangles placed side by side, one on the left, one in the middle, and one on the right. The areas of the left and right rectangles are already known, and our goal is to find the area of the middle rectangle. So, can you solve it? Let's start by labeling the figure. Let the middle rectangle have a length of x units and a width of y units. Since all three rectangles are arranged in a straight line, the width y will be the same for all of them, right? So all of them will be y. Now the total length of the left part together with the middle part is 7 units, and the total length of the middle part together with the right part is 8 units. That means the left rectangle has a length of 7 minus x, while the right rectangle has a length of 8 minus x. Now, we already know that the area of the left rectangle is 28 square units. Using the area of the rectangle formula, which is length times width, we can write 28 equals 7 minus x times y. If we open this up, we get 28 equals 7y minus xy. Let's move the negative xy to the left-hand side and 28 to the right-hand side. That gives us xy equals 7y minus 28. Great. We'll keep this aside as our first equation. Next, let's focus on the right rectangle, whose area is given as 35 square units. Again, using the same formula, we get 35 equals 8 minus x times y. On expanding, we get 35 equals 8y minus xy. Let's move the negative xy to the left-hand side and 35 to the right-hand side. That gives us xy equals 8y minus 35. This will be our second equation. Now this is my favorite part. What do you think? Yes, right. Both of these equations have the same xy on the left-hand side so we can equate the right-hand sides. That gives us 8y minus 35 equals 7y minus 28. Subtracting 7y from both sides, we get y equals minus 28 plus 35. So y equals 7. Wow! Now once we know y, we can substitute it back into one of our earlier equations. From the first one, xy equals 7y minus 28. Substituting y equals 7, we get x times 7 equals 7 times 7 minus 28. On simplifying, we get 7x equals 49 minus 28, which equals 21. Dividing both sides by 7, we get x equals 3. Noise! Now, to find the area of the middle rectangle, we again use the same formula, length times width. So area equals x times y which means 3 times 7 or 21 square units, and that's it. If you enjoyed this video, share it with someone you care about and make learning a daily habit. So, goo.